sure some of you have heard about this uh, letter that the president from Shaw University has written about a traffic stop that's in question in his former candidate during the period of Rolling Thunder. I want you to know that I didn't hear anything about this except from the news media outlets. Not a pretext at all. It was uh, a driver of a Greyhound, or a, I think it was a Greyhound bus, or it was what a, a Greyhound-like bus. Uh, it was silver or white, light in color, with tinted windows on it. Now, that's very important. It was driving up 85. Uh, the officer saw him weaving around the... In the lane, stops the bus driver, asks him, or tells him what he was uh, being stopped for. He never one time questioned that. He didn't say, no, I wasn't, or any of that stuff. Um, the officer was very courteous to him, as the video will show as I release it a little bit later, that um, he made a traffic stop, asked the guy, could he see his paperwork? The guy complied, very nice bus driver, very good representation of his company. Um, the officer asked a few questions like, who, who all you got on the bus, who, you know, while he's trying to find his paperwork, you know, where you headed, these kind of things. And a nice lady that was in the front was apparently a student. Uh, they had a very cordial conversation between her and the officer, which is hardly uh, an interrogation. Um, she answered some of the questions that the uh, officer was asking of the bus driver. Uh, the officer asked if they searched the bottom part because you never know what's been put on the bus. And he said, of course you can. He gets out with consent, opens the uh, three of the doors. One of the bay doors was broken, so we didn't open that one. The dog, while on a leash, one dog. Um, no students were taken off of this bus, I might add. And the dog ran through the uh, baggage, alerted on one of the bags, and they opened up the bags and, and looked through them. Didn't take the stuff out, didn't throw their stuff on the ground. Just looked through it and saw that it was, they did find some donuts, I might add. Uh, so, but that's not what we were looking for. Uh, prior to that whole week, we had stopped 39 different buses on, on Operation Rolling Thunder. 39. This bus was unmarked with tinted windows. We had no idea, uh, windows. We had no idea uh, and no way to know who or what was on that bus, if anybody was on the bus. So I know that from Raleigh at Shaw University, it's about a four-hour drive. Okay, so apparently a bunch of idiots got on social media saying they illegally searched the bus and had the clothes thrown out the bags and had multiple K-9 units. Well, you heard it here first from the fucking sheriff himself. That ain't what happened. So that's just a little example for everyone who thinks about saying shit that ain't true on social media because it can spread stupid lies. And then you got to have moments like this where the sheriff comes on here and says that that ain't what happened and proves all the media it's wrong. Here, so it's not unlikely or, or out of the question that the bus driver was getting tired. You know, I, don't, I don't know the reason why he was weaving. 